hello, hello, my friends. Everybody needs a rock. This is the book I'm going to read for you today. Oh boy, I wish I had this when I was doing all that stuff with rocks because this is a really great book. Everybody Needs a Rock by Bird Baylor with pictures by Peter Parnell. Everybody Needs a Rock. Everybody Needs a Rock. I'm sorry for kids who don't have a rock for a friend. I'm sorry for kids who only have tricycles, bicycles, horses, elephants, goldfish, three-room playhouses, fire engines, wind-up dragons, and things like that if they don't have a rock for a friend. That's why I'm giving them my 10 rules for finding a rock. Not just any rock. I mean a special rock, one that you find for yourself and you keep it as long as you can, maybe even for a lifetime. If somebody says, what's so special about a rock? Don't even tell them, I don't. Nobody is supposed to know what's special about another person's rock. All right, here are the 10 rules. Rule number one, if you can go to a mountain made out of nothing but hundreds and millions of small, shiny, beautiful, roundish rocks. But if you can't, any place will do, even an alley, even the roadway. Rule number two, when you are looking at rocks, don't let mothers or fathers or sisters or brothers or even your best friend talk to you. You should find a rock when everything is quiet. Don't even let dogs bark or bees buzz. But if they do, don't worry about it because the worst thing you can do is try and find a rock when you're feeling worried. Rule number three, bend over more even more and sit on the ground with your head almost touching the earth. You have to look at a rock right in the eye. Otherwise, don't blame me if you can't find that really good rock. Rule number four, don't get a rock that is too big. You'll always be sorry. It won't fit in your hand right and it just won't fit in your pocket. A rock as big as an apple is too big. A rock as big as a horse is definitely too big. <laughs> that will be a humongous rock. <sighs> Rule number five, don't choose a rock that's too small. It's easy to lose or a mice, mouse might eat it thinking that it's a seed. Trust me, that happened to a friend in Arizona. Hmm. Rule number six, the size must be just perfect. It has to feel easy in your hands when you close your fingers over it. It has to feel jumpy in your pocket when you run. You know that feeling? <laughs> you have a rock in your pocket and you're running. Some people touch a rock a thousand times a day. There aren't many things that feel as good as a rock, especially when that rock is just perfect. Rule number seven, look for the perfect color. That could be sort of pinkish gray with bits of silvery shiny bits in it. Some rocks that look brown are really other colors, but you can only see them when you squint your eyes and look in them with the sun shining bright. Another way to see a rock is to dip it in some water. Rule number eight, the shape of the rock is up to you. There's a girl in Alaska who only likes flat rocks. Don't ask me why, I like mine lumpy. The thing to remember about shape is any rock that feels good with, any rock looks good with a hundred other rocks around it. But if your rock is going to be special, it has to look good all by itself, sitting there in the bathtub. Rule number nine, always sniff a rock. Hmm. Rocks have their own smells. Some kids can tell by sniffing whether a rock came from the middle of the earth or from an ocean or from a mountain where the wind has touched it. Oh, you'll find out that grown-ups can't see these things. 
Too bad for them. They just can't smell like kids can. Hmm. They just can't smell like kids can. Too bad for those grown ups, hey? Hmm. Rule number 10. Don't let anybody help you choose. I've seen a lizard pick one rock out of a desert full of rocks and go and sit there alone. I've seen a snail pass up 20 rocks and spend all day getting to know the one that it wanted. You have to make up your own mind. You'll know. Hmm. All right, that's the 10 rules. If you think of any more, write them down yourself. I'm going to play a game that just takes me and one rock to play. I happen to have a rock here in my hand. Mm. And that's the 10 rules about finding that perfect rock. Everybody needs a rock. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, friends.